Congratulations on your purchase of the portable, versatile, Multimatic 200 Multiprocess Welder. And thanks for choosing Miller. With your Multimatic 200, you can count on years of trouble-free, multi-purpose, multi-process welding. We know you're eager to try out your new machine, but before you begin setup, please take a few minutes to review important safety information and tips for the Multimatic 200. And remember to wear appropriate safety gear during setup and welding. Now let's get started. First, you'll become more familiar with your new Multimatic 200 through a quick overview of the machine's key features. You'll learn to properly set up the Multimatic 200 for MIG, TIG, and stick processes for a variety of metal applications. Finally, you'll find out how to troubleshoot the common issues welders can experience when learning to operate the Multimatic 200 system. For your convenience, you'll also find a quick setup guide and parameter chart inside the door, a handy reference that's available wherever the job takes you. Let's begin with a quick overview of the Multimatic 200's features. Your Multimatic 200 comes ready to connect with common 120 or 230 receptacles. Thanks to Miller's exclusive multi-voltage plug, there's no tools required. To connect the multi-voltage plug, simply choose the plug that fits the receptacle, line up the arrows, and insert the power cord into the plug. Tighten the collar and plug it into the wall. You're ready to go. Power up your machine by turning on the power switch, located in the rear of the machine. Now let's look at the operator interface, starting with the Auto Set Elite feature, the next level in the evolution of the popular Millermatic Auto Set platform. The auto set feature is all about keeping it simple. No matter what process and material you choose, you can use Auto Set Elite to preset your Multimatic to the proper welding parameters. But unlike standard Auto Set, Auto Set Elite goes one step further, allowing you to fine tune your preset parameters to the precise arc performance you prefer. Let's demonstrate how the interface works. Begin by selecting your process with the knob at the top of the machine. Choose either stick, flux core, MIG stainless, MIG steel C25, MIG steel C100, MIG aluminum, TIG lift arc remote, or TIG lift arc. Next, turn the auto set elite feature on or off. When the auto set mode is on, two blue lights will illuminate. Depending on the process you select, Input your wire, electrode, or tungsten diameter at the prompt. Then input your material thickness. It's just that easy. Auto Set Elite adjusts your machine to a weldable parameter. Should you choose to fine tune parameters to your individual preference, simply tweak the controls for wire feed and voltage for MIG or amperage for TIG or stick. You'll notice an adjustment window appears above and below the center bullseye mark. Should you prefer to weld in manual mode, turn Auto Set off and adjust your voltage and wire feed speed for MIG or amps for TIG and stick based on the parameter chart located inside the door. To help you set up gas and polarity for the machine's multiple options, your Multimatic 200 features an intuitive LCD help panel. The panel will prompt you to use the proper polarity settings and gas type for your process. It will also alert you if you've set the wrong polarity. The LCD screen flags other common errors as well, such as loose or improperly installed cables. Best yet, it's easy. The Multimatic 200 offers understandable word and symbol prompts, not numerical codes you need to look up in a manual to interpret. Finally, let's review gas setup requirements. Your Multimatic 200 is designed for external gas cylinders. Before connecting your Multimatic 200 to an external cylinder, securely fasten the cylinder to a running gear, wall, or other stationary support. To attach the gas to your machine, remove the cap if your cylinder has one and stand to the side of the valve. Open the valve slightly to allow the gas to blow away any dust or dirt from the valve. Install the regulator so that the face is vertical. Connect the hose to the regulator and to your machine, then tighten both connections with a wrench.
When adjusting the flow, remember that a typical flow rate is 20 to 30 CFH. Now that you've got the basics, let's take a look at the individual setups required for your specific MIG, TIG, and stick welding applications.